Hey guys, it's your boy Dr. Mods. Here with your daily inspirational quote. If your mom is gay, that doesn't automatically make your dad lesbian. But it does automatically make your granny tranny. Boom. Inspired, right? I mean, yeah, I think I said it right. You know, I can't speak. It's my trademark. So, yeah, you know, let me play the generic lo-fi music in the background. And just sit back, relax, grab some popcorn, get some soda or something. I don't know. You know, today's another story time. Haven't done one of these in a while, so, like, pa-pow. Yeah, so, today I'm going to be telling you a story about how me and, you know, the homie Radical and also... XD Neville, or whatever he changed his name to, got called the N word by a white girl. Like, I'm not talking about, ah, I'm talking about ER at the end, you know what I mean? So, yeah. Just sit back and relax and grab some popcorn, yeah. Yeah. So, to start, you need a little background. You know, me, radical, and. Uh, what's one called? Neville or Professor Animation or whatever he's calling himself now. Like, he needs to pick a name. Where are you, dweebs? And so, yeah, you're just chilling, playing anime. This is like in fifth grade. I don't know why everything takes place in fifth grade, but you know, we were just chillaxing, maxing out cool on the playground outside of school. When this one girl would call her as Margot. Back in the day, she was extremely sensitive for people being racist. You know, later, my homie, Marcherese, he didn't say anything to her. He was just making jokes, and she started crying and snitched on him. And we were all like, ooh. <laughs> and he got in trouble. He got sent to the office, and he could never go outside for recess to, uh, for like a month, which was a big F in the chat, you know what I mean? And so... Basically, she, she is actually bilingual. I forgot what language she spoke, but like, let's just say it wasn't Japanese. And so, you know, we were just chillaxing, and then she just pulled up and she was like, Hi guys! And we were all like, Hi! and stuff. And so, Brendan was like, Hey, um, can you like teach me Japanese or something? And she did not take that very kindly at all. Her entire face got red. Like, how people who aren't black, how do they change colors? Like, that's the real question. Why we call them white or Asian? Like, they be changing colors. We should just call them rainbows, you know? Skittles or something. And so, she walked away and started crying. And so, we didn't really realize she started crying. And we were like, Brendan, you dumb. Or, Neville, you dumb. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. And so... We continue chillaxing, talking about some anime or something. Like, we were probably talking about Naruto because it was like fifth grade. We didn't really watch that much anime yet. You know, next couple of years, we started watching a lot more. Like, Seven Daily Sins, Fairy Tale, My Hero. Well, I, we just started watching My Hero because My Hero wasn't really out that much yet. Well, it wasn't popular yet, so we didn't hear about it. And yeah. Basically, what we did was we were just chillaxing, and this one random white girl was like, um, you guys know you made Margaret cry, and we're like, huh, what did we do? We didn't do nothing. And she was like, apparently, Brennan was being extremely racist, and I was like, oh, like, I had a brain blast from Jimmy Neutron, and I was like, oh. Okay, so, what Brennan said, so, we, you know, we tell her the story, and she was like, well, I think Brennan should go apologize, and so she walked away, and Brennan was just on the ground, he was like, am I really racist? I never thought of myself that way, and stuff. And so you're like, Brendan, you know, you're not racist, you just ask a question, you were just being ignorant, you know what I mean? And she's just overreacting, like, severely. And so, you know, we walk over, like, some <laughs> people from JoJo's Adventure, like, cue the Giorno's theme, 
Like that that theme is fire. I'm not gonna lie. I'm, okay, I'm getting a little off topic, but like So we walked over and try to apologize. We tried to get rid over, but like he was too scared and embarrassed and so I was like, Oh, okay. So we walked over and like we were chilling. We were Gucci and so you know I was like so Brendan was being ignorant, he didn't really realize that like that he was being racist or whatever. <laughs> like he he just hears from people that like you go places and you're bilingual. So he decided to ask you to help teach him. Like we didn't know you didn't speak Japanese. Like he thought you spoke Japanese, not Taiwanese or Chinese or Koreanese or Manese. You, you get the drift. And so, basically, she was like, I don't freaking care. So she didn't say freaking, you know what I mean? And so, Henry, he got, I mean, Radical, oh, I'm so sorry. So, Radical, he started getting mad. And I was like, okay, maybe we should all chillax here. And then he was all like, no, she needs to accept a freaking apology. And I was like, whoa, maybe you should relax, dude. And so this one random girl, uh, we'll call her Shrimpo. So she has a reputation for being racist. Like later in the year, she just said, uh, she said the N-word on her YouTube channel. Go right it, live you love, you know what I mean? Like, I'm not trying to be me, but like, she should have said it, so go rate it. My four viewers, go rate live you love 19 or whatever. Like, yeah, her videos are pretty cringy. Like, she got live streams of her just raging over Fortnite. And then, a couple hours later, her dad just brings her food while she's playing Fortnite on her Nintendo Switch. Not even recording it, just playing it on her Nintendo Switch. No hate to the Nint Nintendo Switch, like, I was just saying. And she wasn't even in the TV mode, she was in handheld mode. Like, what? What are you talking about? You can't just do that. You, that's, no wonder you're not getting wins, you're playing in handheld mode. Okay, I'm getting a little off topic, you know, that's honestly making me kind of triggered. And so... Her and Radical start watching Makai and uh, hurling insults at each other. She was like, oh yeah, well you're fat. And he was like, oh yeah, well you pick your nose. Like, it was true. She do pick her nose. Like, one time I start doing this combo. Okay, I'm not even going to say that because that's just rude, you know? And so, basically, eventually she couldn't even come up with her trash insults. She was, she was all like, <laughs> she said the N word with the E R at the end. Like it would already be a problem if she said what you call with A on the end. But nah, she said it was the E R on the end. And so I was like, Ooh, did you really just say that? I was I was still calm, but like I was mad, you know. I wasn't trying to get into any conflicts. You know, let's go on my permanent record, you know what I mean? And so, Henry, or Radical, I mean, basically, he did not take that kindly at all. It was like some Dragon Ball C, he said, I won't let you get away with this, you white cracker. And I was just sitting there like, this some juicy tea. And so he was about to go up and attack her. And I was like, well, maybe you should relax, dude. And, you know, I started holding him back. And I was like, Ridicule, this is not the way, dude. We do not hit girls, even if they do say stuff. And he was like, I don't care. And so, a then, a couple of teachers just walked up to us and like, we need you in the office. And so, we were all like, ooh. And so we walked all over, we walked inside, and we went to the office, we talked to our principal. He was like, so, yeah, I'm white, she's Asian, she, he's black, she's whiter than me. Like, what's the problem here? Like, just don't say racist stuff. And so he was like, you are going to get suspended, 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 if you don't apologize and let's not do this ever again, okay? And so, 
basically, Henry apologized. I mean, Redrico apologized. I'm really bad at this. And so, yeah. That's basically what happened. And now, I'm pretty good friends with still Redrico and that one Asian girl. But I'm not friends with that one white girl. Like, I'm not mean to her, but like, she still thinks we're friends. Like, one time the year after, she was all like, you know, you're one of my best friends. <laughs> now we never even talk. And I'm just sitting here like, hey, making money moves. You know what I mean? <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was fun to record, you know. So, please like, like, comment, and subscribe. Shout out to homie Redical, homie XD Neville, and also the homie of uh, Volcanic Gaming. Yeah, that's what his channel is called. Basically, he just started his channel and he's doing story time videos too. So, you know, I gotta help him out. And so, yeah, like, comment, subscribe. Hope you enjoyed. I said that already, but like, if you like, you will like this video and the thing will turn blue. And blue is better than gray. That said. And if you want it gray, your mom gay. Yeah, you don't know the way. Okay, I'm spinning bars. Got lots of cars on this YouTube grinding. You know, I am finding stuff in video games. You know, you're lame. Okay, that's enough of that. Uh, thanks. Alright, peace out. Yeah, that's all I had to say. Dang. Comment, subscribe, share, you know I'm care. Hey, yeah, this a nice beat. You got stinky feet. Yeah, okay. Like, comment, subscribe. That's all. Thank you. Love you guys.